we're back give you a pop he'll give you a hit here he is on the outside one-on-one -on -one, staying patient staying square just running the slant he's able to match this get hands on he's got great ball skills he's able to hook you this is more like the hook and swat technique you hook him around the hip but you don't want to like move him and then you swat down get that ball out being a former receiver he definitely has some great feel like whether he's you know getting the interception or making plays like that he uh definitely feels comfortable in those situations here's another rep him playing man to man i like seeing him out in the slot you know working uh first number uh, 84 right there and he just covers this to perfection uh not playing like press this time but playing you know a uh, soft look here stays square stays patient i love he's always in a good football position he's always playing with good bend body lean and then once he commits to the outside get those hands on and now uh, just stay in the hip pocket of the receiver squeeze this to the sideline as far as you can um, he definitely has just a great feel and coverage overall whether it's man zone um, I would say you know his athletic profile and his recognition skills really allow him to like really excel in zone while I think you know man I could see him struggling with like definitely some top tier receivers in the slot but he's gonna go out there and make plays in all different types of ways whether it's versus the run as you'll see or down getting downhill versus screens Everything that he does, he just plays like the <laughs> the ultimate dog out there. Like, really, he's love that his mentality as a player. He's just a type of guy you want on your team. He's an, definitely a football player out there. Here we got him on the outside here uh, versus Iowa. I'm just trying to throw the hook. Him getting downhill quickly, almost getting the interception, but just the recognition skills. Like, this guy breaks, you know, right there. He's able to see it very quickly. Boom, close, shows some shorter burst, even slows down a little bit. Um, and then almost gets the interception and would have been a uh, very, very nice play. But he just makes plays out in coverage on a consistent level, uh, whether, you know, he's like the versatility is so key because he can do it from multiple different looks. And I just feel like uh, that's a big part is like I feel like he's pretty, uh, pretty good, like scheme fluidity. Like he'll go into the next level and I think he'll have success on like because some players just depend. Like I think like, oh, this is a good player, but I think if he goes to the wrong team, like he could be a bust to the next level. I feel like Samer still is just th that type of player that can really exceed in any type of scheme. And he looks like you want to use him um, as long as, you know, he's out there. I think he could even play some safety. Interceptions, he's out there just making plays. Here he is, you know, as like that uh, seam flat defender with number two. Just get out there, or, like curl flat, find number one. He sort of does a good job of baiting this like he's going to, you know, match number two right here bait 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 get square and now uh, the quarterback think he's going to match this and now he's able to get out and get to the flat and make that play out there boom ball skills really good recognition um just understands exactly where he's supposed to be because they're playing uh, cover three so he's like that curl flat and he just recognizes it so so easily um getting out to that to that uh outside basically outside the numbers too which is an impressive play because you don't see a lot of players uh, making those plays he's definitely very comfortable in that curl flat area of the field he's just an absolute playmaker downhill versus screens he'll beat blocks he'll see the stuff very quickly he's just a very very solid football player makes tackles he's not afraid of it once he keys this sees this guy's coming out to block him you know drop your shoulder into him set this edge you're trying to force this you throw 84 off you like it's nothing and the guy works into your area you make that tackle great stuff by mikey um really just fun football player to watch he's so exciting he just does so many things well um these are just my types of guys these um uh, undersized a little bit but they play bigger than their size they're very very good processors understanding the game that physicality like i was talking about and they're also just good athletes you have to have that good level of athleticism which i think he definitely does like it shows on tape for sure and then he even tested better than i expected at the combine so so many things to like here we get him down in the box, just fitting versus the run, willing to, you know, th uh, definitely throw some shoulders into people. Like, he gets a little bit of help here, but he definitely can understand his run fits. He understands exactly where he's supposed to be. He's staying square, stays patient. Hits the guy at the point of attack. He's kind of, you know, falling over anyways, but still, meeting the guy, you know, a yard down the field, that's good stuff for a DB. Nick. And if you're playing nickel at the next level, which I expect him to play a majority of the time, you have to uh, be able to be a part of the run fits like this, and he is very willing to, and I think he has a good understanding of what he's supposed to be doing. Um, here's Mikey saying we're still again downplaying as like the cover two corner. He feels very comfortable, uh, with this specific coverage, especially on the outside where he just feels comfortable playing in that flat zone, uh, whether it's from, you know, the nickel or the, um, outside spot, they're playing like a Tampa two look here guy releases. He gains some depth so he can, you know, in case this works to the corner, he can take away that underneath, uh, 
throw to it while the guy has it over the top but then he's still in a good spot to get downhill and make a play on both the running back and the tight end working on the cross and that's where he's going he's going to like hit the running back again but he sees it goes to the tight end adjust to it and then hits knocks the ball out at the point of attack that stuff is just beautiful from mikey sanders still um here we can see him blitzing he definitely is a comfortable blitzer i can see him having a lot of success here he times it up well he disguises it he just stays so low he can avoid blocks takes good angles he's just a relentless player in pursuit plays with the super high motor definitely a guy that can blitz and have um some success so you know he goes to a team that likes to blitz their nickels he will make a play as you can see here it happens again uh, you get to come him coming unblocked he's able to you know help get that ball knocked out he does a good job of you know not trying to like over pursue it too because he kind of has to slow this down because this guy gets tripped up and doesn't want to you know get tripped up over him takes the good angle and then knocks that ball out plus he doesn't want to uh doesn't want to get juked out in space because sometimes when they're coming off free off the edge like this they have more room to work with and this qb might have been able to step up where this guy had tripped up but he's able to get there and uh make a play i am a big fan of him uh down near the box he is a nice little playmaker here we get to see him just come up in run support phil versus the run again this time you know the other one he was like more in the box here like truly as a nickel um lined up on like the opposite hash of the play and he's still able to just you know get out of this see that it's the quarterback's gonna run on this uh identify the run avoid the block stay square stay patient he does a great job just you know staying under control not being super over aggressive he knows when to be like aggressive and hit people at the point of attack but he knows when like these guys are out in space one-on-one -on -one and they're seeing him and they have all the time in the world to you know make the guy miss he understands how to break down and make these plays out in space i know like there were certain times i think he struggled with his tackles on space but he showed a lot of improvement which is really nice and just a lineup on the outside playing as a deep third defender i like just seeing him center field turn out of this because you know he opens up um zone turns this gets a little bit stuck to the inside but he's still able to maintain leverage of this i think he's trying to you know cheat to here in case they throw this seam that he can you know potentially make a play on both of this and once he sees that he spins out of it and spinning out of this you take your eyes off the ball and you're able to now get back into the hip pocket of the receiver stay under control do not panic and then still locate it track it attack the ball at its highest point that is not easy that kind of shows me he can even play a little bit on the outside of the next level um, I do still think he's going to, you know, excel at the nickel, but this is a very special play that, you know, not a lot of people are making because he's cheating the inside to possibly help on the seam route. He recognizes that it's going to be thrown over the top one-on-one -on -one fade uh, versus smaller corner. He thinks, oh God, no, he's not panicking at all. He gets back to the hip pocket, turns and locates it very fast, finds it so fast, and then times it up and jumps and catches at the highest point. That is not something that is normal for a corner to make that type of play. And then, uh, Honestly, one of the best plays I think he's made. This was a uh, verse. Uh, I think it was 2022 because Stroud's the quarterback. But as you can see, it's a third and four situation, and he's you know lined up right here. He starts to flow this way, thinking you know that the run might be coming this way. So he's seeing this, but the tight end leaks out of the backfield, and he's supposed to be covering this tight end. This is a tough ass. He is about four yards away. Stroud kind of has to float away a little bit, which helps him out. But he throws it up. Sanders still takes a great angle to the point of attack. Um, the ball gets floated pretty nicely because he's trying to undercut it for the pick. Sees that it's getting get it floated over him, so he just readjusts that angle. Boom. Fights through the hands. No panic at all. Knocks that ball out. That is a high-level play. Super high-level plays that he would just make, and he would do it in so many different ways, whether he's lined up inside, outside, zone, man-to-man, -man, uh, in the red zone, deep down the field, in the backfield. He does it. He's just the ultimate Swiss Army knife. So if you guys want to make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get some Peace.